chocolate chili dab. What's up, peeps? <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Chocolate and wine. Shit, that's good. That's like real fucking chocolate. Single swag bag <laughs> for the win. <laughs> Single bag. What other... God, there are so many subscription boxes. I want them all. <laughs> I'm, I'm an addict. I'm so basic. <laughs> There's like a lady box. I do. I want a period Single. box. Yeah. <laughs> Will they send you tampons and chocolate and a little gift? Cause... I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Actually, yeah, that'd be nice. There's a whole bunch of them. I can never decide, and then I'm like not on my period. I'm like, I want to spend money on a period box. And then I'm on my period, and I'm like, I need I help. I need chocolate <laughs> and I need somebody to love me. Oh my god! All I want when I'm on my period is like a milkshake for some reason. It's weird. I'm on my chocolate period right milkshake. now. <laughs> oh no! Should we go get you a milkshake? You got no, chocolate and terrible. wine. Oh, I got, okay. Yeah. I, got... See, I don't know why. I don't like it any other time. Yeah, milkshakes are disgusting. Yeah, no, they're nasty. <laughs> yeah. No, what I want, what I want a big, frothy, cold fucking thing of sugar. That's all I want. I just eat everything in sight. Yeah, that too. But back to the subscription boxes. Yeah. I was on Instagram. I was scrolling through. And I've seen it a few times, but this time it really caught my eye. Singles, singles swag <laughs> for when you love your own damn self. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, it's really cheesy. And then it popped up with a coupon code and I was like, I'd spend $20 on this. That's not a good, that's a good price. I thought so. Boxes. And you got a lot of stuff. I got this cute, I'm not no, wearing it. Right, but I, I know that necklace, I love it. I got this cute like rose gold necklace. Mm -hmm. I got like a pedicure set. Yes. I got toner for my face. I got a oh, lipstick a yeah. and a lip liner. And yeah. what it was called, I Love Myself. That was the color. <laughs> so stupid. So cheesy. And then I also got this delicious chocolate reading. Dude. Italian dark chocolate saccato. So Italian. Sicoto. Italian so. fine. I need another piece. Oh, yeah, you do. Um, it doesn't have that bitter chocolate flavor that dark chocolate mm -hmm. tends to have. And I even really like dark chocolate when it has that flavor. But this melts is perfectly heavenly. Yeah. <laughs> I needed this. <laughs> it was really hard to put my daughter to sleep tonight for this podcast. Oh yeah. So we should probably say hi. I'm Alex. I'm Krista. It's been a while. Sorry about that. Sorry, fans. <laughs> I was super busy. I said that last time. Yeah, but... we were kind of <laughs> slacky on the last one. Um, yeah. But. I got chocolate in my wine. <laughs> it's heavenly. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so we slacked on the last one. We kind of mm -hmm. slacked getting onto this, but we're here now. We're here. Thank you for waiting. We got a lot to talk about, too, so it'll be extra I'm long. excited. This is going to be a good episode. Yeah. Um. This is The Sense. Welcome. Welcome back. Episode 5. Officially. Uh, Cinco. Cinco. For our, our Espanol listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can we edit that out? It sounds stupid. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it was funnier in my head. No, I love it. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, oh can I tell him a joke? Of Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's get the drums ready. No. <laughs> but uh, Is it the one you sent me? Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. What do you call a camel with no humps? I don't know, Alex. What do you call a camel with no humps? Humphrey. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that made my day today. Why? I don't know. I love terrible jokes. Have I told you my favorite terrible joke? Tell me. Gets me every time. <laughs> and I don't know if it's appropriate now, but I don't care. I still love it. I've loved it since high school. What does a gay snake say? What? <laughs> <laughs> and like, I like to do the little hand movement too. <laughs> It kills me. I love it. Have you seen the dad 
um, dad joke competitions? Um, no, I didn't know that was a competition. Are you joking? Yeah. Wait. Why would I not? Why would I think that's a real competition? It's hilarious. It's on YouTube. They have dad joke competitions. Oh my god. I thought you know. Okay, so. I thought you, you were making that up. No, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> okay. It like <laughs> completes me. Okay. So you challenge somebody and you stare face to face mm-hmm. and it's being recorded for YouTube gold mm-hmm. and you have to tell each other dad jokes back and forth and if mm-hmm. the other person or whoever laughs, the other person gets a point. Oh, that's how it's a competition. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you have to say it straight face like, oh, that's another one. Did you hear about the cheese factory explosion? I didn't. There was debris everywhere. I would lose. It's I would. <laughs> you know, a point for Alex. <laughs> so that was that's cool. If you got any good dad jokes, email, email us, them to us. Email us all your dad jokes, so I can win competitions. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do it in podcast with just us doing terrible dad jokes at each other. Oh, that's so that would be so great. I'm gonna do that. We'll do that. We'll do it for an hour. I'm also been lacking. <laughs> that would be a long time. That would be a lot of dad jokes. <laughs> I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> In. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been slacking on the Instagram account for this. You know, we're I, on... I forget what I say. I'm going to post. And I get on there and I'm like, I'm going to post. And I don't. We, first of all, this is in its infancy. We need to have lower expectations. Yeah. <laughs> so... Give us a break. No. <laughs> get off our back, people. Yeah. No. It's like, <laughs> Just no kidding. one cares. <laughs> yeah. Just us. Just me listening to this later. Right. <laughs> and Miranda. But <laughs> Thanks, Miranda. Yeah, thanks for watching out. Um, no, but I will get there. And, like, we have different schedules. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting back oh. onto a regular schedule with a new job opportunity that has come about for me. I don't want to jinx it, but I have had four interviews for it. That's insane. So... Like, Chris is going to be... Head honcho of and something big. Of something special. Now, I won't say anything yet. Not yet. No. Uh, Keep everyone on their guessing. toes. So, and you know, the next episode, if I don't talk about it at all. Don't bring it don't up. Don't ask. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't be that person. <laughs> um, what else is new? I went to Vegas. How's that? For Halloween. It was awesome. It was the best. It's always the best. Vegas is awesome. Spent, it's pretty fun. Spent days intoxicated. Days had very little sleep. What else did um, we do there? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It is. Partied, the ate best. a lot. I essentially had raw meat for dinner. Ooh. I had steak tartare and a rare steak. Ooh, it sounds fancy. <laughs> so, yeah. Girl, you fancy. <laughs> yeah. I don't fuck around in Vegas. <laughs> like, I, didn't, I, I say that so much. <laughs> like at work. Yeah. I'm like doing something really <laughs> stupid. Like I was putting labels on bins and they're like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like, I'm labeling the bins. I didn't come here to fuck around. <laughs> like, and they're like, what? <laughs> it's like my favorite saying right now. And I'm just labeling bins. <laughs> so hardcore. So badass. Uh, yeah. What else is new? Um, Last night, we I did henna. Oh, yeah. We both went to this awesome show in Richland at the Emerald of Siam. Very cool place. Yeah, Everyone it was live body out. painting. Mm. And I didn't do live body painting. Our new friend, Lene, did. And she's amazing. And I did henna. And it was a good time had by all. It was. Lots of people were there. Aaron was there. Aaron, thanks, bro. Give him a butthole henna yeah everything was a butthole <laughs> everything just kind of reminded us of well but. they were just round really <laughs> so. some some dirty person out there mining together oh, no yeah i don't know who but somebody. it was me oh yeah dirty <laughs> dirty <beginning>. Krista. <laughs> sorry it's okay it turned out to be funny i almost hashtagged it on my instagram my henna instagram <laughs> alex hannara for anybody that wants to follow me alex hannara hannara <laughs> and yeah, I was gonna hashtag um, henna buttholes, but then I didn't have enough hashtags to like hide it. And also, people would not assume that Pe- is what it was. I didn't want it to get dirty real fast. Like people being like, "Whoa, what kind Whoa. of page is this?" You couldn't put henna on your butthole. 
I'm not gonna put head on anybody's buttholes. You're right. You, I don't want somebody to won't. like DM me and be like, "So I saw that you put like butthole head on." Like that's somebody's kink. How much does it cost? And I'll be like, <laughs> "Not enough." What if they were like a thousand dollars? Maybe we could talk like <laughs> three thousand. Okay. I can everyone, some buttholes for three thousand dollars. Everyone has a price. Yeah. <laughs> three thousand dollars is my price. If anybody wants to, their you hand want your butthole, butthole head on. <laughs> Uh, God. Throwing that out there. No. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you notice I cut my hair? You told me yesterday. Oh, okay. And I didn't until you told me. Now I can tell, and it just looks so fresh. I got five inches off. Holy shiz. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's like all my hair. I, dude, I had a <laughs> lot of hair. What made me feel funny was like, I went up to Lisa and I was like, hey, what do you, do you notice anything new? And mm-hmm. she's like, no. <gasps> Literally no. And I was like, Bitch, look and like start shaking my hair. She's like, "Why are you moving like that?" I'm like, "My hair," and she's like, "Oh, where'd you go?" Yeah, you cut an inch off, and I'm like, "Oh no, five, five. I went to Michael and Co. on Queensgate mm-hmm. across from Walmart. Um, they were really nice. nice. I went there at ten in the morning because mm-hmm. I was on a break at work for an hour. What made you cut off five inches? That's a lot of hair. Because for it was my second interview and she had just emailed me that morning mm-hmm. to come in after work and I had I was getting off at two and she wanted me there at three. So I know I didn't have time. Also my hair was in a nasty bun. <laughs> so I didn't have time to like wash it. And initially I was like, maybe I'll just have them wash it and dry it for me because that would really help me out. Yeah. But then I was like, nah, you know, I'm here. Cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna feel it. Hold on. Yeah, oh, it's so it. fresh. I it's love like, fresh like that. I hair. love yeah, newly cut hair feels amazing. Oh, that's silky. Okay, so we're just touching my hair right now. <laughs> I know, I was like, I need to say something else because it got creepy because I made that weird, like, uh. uh-huh. <laughs> But I just really like fresh like hair. Me too. I can't really cut mine very often because it's not very long. It doesn't need to be cut. No, and like, I'm not upset about no. it, but I just don't get to feel fresh like cut hair. Mm-hmm. I feel you. I feel you. Washing it was amazing. Yeah, but I took like half the That's shampoo. one good thing about my hair. I can go many days without washing it. That's cool. It doesn't get greasy. I mean, it took me a long time to get to that point because hair, it knows. I know. Like, what you're doing with your life. So, I had to train it to not get greasy. I've tried to explain that to my mom because my mom washes her hair every day. I'm like, <sighs> mom, too. just take one week off. Yeah. And I was like, it'll make a big difference. Take a day and then two days and then three. Stay home for a week. You own your own business. Yeah. That's true, mom. You don't have to go anywhere. Don't go to work for a week. Don't wash your hair. And she's like, I can't. And I was like, you can't. All right, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Ma'am. I don't call my mom that. Ma'am. Mm-hmm. I call my mom ma'am. I had chocolate in my mouth and it sounded like ma'am. I call her. I call her mama. Mama. I call her a lot of things and she gets kind of mad. Yeah. Um. I guess it's more like mom. That's what I call my mom. Mom. Ma'am. ma'am. Or if I'm feeling particularly British, I'll be like, Mother. Mum. Mum? Hey, Mum. <laughs> Could you give me some porridge? And she'll be like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> mum. Um, I hate that word, kind of. Mum? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I feel so weak and pathetic. Right. Um, When I had my daughter. <laughs> mm. I We're going like, to bring her up later. Oh, boy. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, When... I had my daughter. I was like, guess what you're going to be, mom? And she's like, a grandma. I'm like, you're going to be our bubby. And she's like, excuse me? And I'm like, yeah, you're the British grandma. Or not the, no, British. Jewish grandma. And she's like, Alex, we're not Jewish. But they did the 23 and You e. are. We're a little bit Jewish, guys. <laughs> and it's kind of like an inside joke with my family. And yeah. I was I'm like, wow, I've really found who I am. And they're like, oh my. It's like... <laughs> Not even that much. I'm like, it's enough. It's enough to know. And I'm like, all right, Bubby. And now my daughter calls her that. She loves to call her Bubby. And my mom's like, it's it's done. It's stuck. And I'm like, yeah, yeah we'll be here for Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. I don't know. I just call my grandma, grandma. But yeah, I call my mom, mom. Mom. So let's talk about how Ryan was acting this oh, evening. Oh boy. We're recording this pretty late because uh, 
Ryan decided that she hates Alex. And life. And everything. And everything. So guess what? Terrible twos? Not a thing. (laughs) Three nagers? There are three nagers. Three nagers. I heard that term. My daughter turned three a month ago. And I was like, three nager? Oh my gosh. People are so stupid. Like, my kid's an angel. And then... (laughs) And then it turned upside down. And she was like, F you. (laughs) And... It's been like this for a while now. Just tantrum after tantrum. I'm not going to bed. And I'm like, you're three, you're going to bed. And she just cried and screamed. And I would I would like to insert a sample of her screaming <laughs> at this moment, probably. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> insert clip now. So it's pretty terrifying. It's. We're going to show her when she's older someday. Yeah, I'm going to keep this recording forever because it's intense. And I'm impressed with her. She's got lungs. She's got some pipes. Yeah. Um, And she sounds like a literal, like... Screeching monster. Oh, yeah. Like a harpy from hell. We've got the sound of a demon for you (laughs) today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, So she's fabulous at that. But was just, so now she's asleep. Uh, Sleeping. I, she banged on the door. I think that she's just asleep at the door on the floor. That's yeah. why I think she's sleeping. I'll check on her in a little bit and I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else is new? Mm. It's Chicken. November. Holy Shit. crud. It's almost December. And then 2018. Yeah. Mind blown. I can't handle years. You know what was... Uh, described to me the other day about why we think years are shorter. Why? It's compression theory. So, like, if you look, if when you're one and then you get to two years, that's two is half of your life. Oh. And then when you're three, that's three thirds. And then when you're four, that's fourths. That makes so much sense. So, the reason why we think, and we need to stop thinking like this yeah. because that literally makes your life shorter. You were comparing our year to the entirety of our life, which is always getting smaller. Yeah. Or longer, sorry. So our years are always getting smaller. I hate when people like are 50 and they're like, well, I'm halfway to being dead. I'm like, wow. No. You're, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> don't know. <laughs> That's not cool. Also, it could be way less than that. Next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, you're giving yourself that much time? <laughs> that much credit? Look at you. When's the last time you jogged? <laughs> you're right. Dan, you need help. His name's Dan. Get help, Dan. Yeah. yeah. You got diabetes. No. <laughs> that's a guy that says he's 50 and halfway dead, and I'm like, you're way more than that. <laughs> so... That's like it on the bright side, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's why we think our years are, are getting shorter. So, it's interesting. Change your mindset. It's been a long fucking year. <laughs> so... It kind of has. Like, <laughs> There's a lot going on. I get, I don't know. Also, we'll, we graduated. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know what I like to think about sometimes? Like, Hmm. I've worked for the same company for eight years. Could have gone to high school twice. I think of that too sometimes. It's weird, huh? Or, I've been a massage therapist for, it'll be eight years, coming on eight years. Yeah. I'm a doctor of massage therapy. Yeah, you are. (laughs) (laughs) You could have heard a doctor. Watch out, Dr. Alex is in the house. (laughs) Right. Oh gosh! I'm gonna get some glasses tomorrow. I'm just kidding. You should. <laughs> oh my god, I've thought about that so many times. Getting I, glasses? Yes, I just want glasses for just to look smart. Me too. Like, oh, damn you? this perfect vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what sucks is that I don't have perfect vision. I just refuse to wear my glasses. <laughs> yeah. I can't walk with them on. That's weird. Yeah. I, I never wore glasses, so I actually oh, don't know okay. if that's weird, but it's. It's weird. I, I, I wore sunglasses. Yeah. I wore. I wear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounded weird. Well, my problem is that the way my prescription is. It's like too much. No, it might be. It might be too strong. Maybe that's why. But I've described this problem to other people that wear glasses. They're like, oh yeah, that was like I was like that too. I'm like, oh okay. I can't tell where my feet are when I'm walking, and I think it might yeah, have to do creepy. with where the frame is, maybe, mm-hmm. and like my peripheral vision. I can't see where my feet are. I've never seen you wear these glasses. Yeah, that's because I don't wear them. 
I want to see you with glasses now. No, I mean, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll get them. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> They're not that great. Hmm. I guess I look pretty cute in them. I think well. little kids in glasses, <laughs> like really big glasses, is hilarious. I kind of... I think it's unnecessary, but... Yeah. So... Sometimes. Which... I mean, there's probably some cases where they really need them, but... It's funny that you bring this up, because I just watched a video while you were tending to your demon (laughs) about controlling the demon yeah back to her hell yeah uh about uh this kid that needed glasses it was just a baby Mm -hmm. and they like strap it on yeah it's like a full-on thing and he's like that's not funny i mean like like, when they're like three or four yeah but he's like an infant yeah and he's like super unhappy and fussy and then he puts the glasses on and it was like it it was like one of those babies here for first time thing and it was baby c for first time he's shocked at how well he can see oh and it's really cute yeah but also it looks weird because he's wearing goggles <laughs> so <laughs> you look weird you can't see anymore <laughs> <laughs> they uh I, like he was just looking around and like laughing and stuff so Aww. that was cute heartwarming yeah that was nice but no i mean he had glasses mm-hmm not like me. I, I hate wearing them. You're not going to be so. like that adorable baby in that video, Krista. I can't be. So, should we tell them what the topic is this week? We can. After many weeks? Yeah. I don't want to think about how many weeks it's been. Yeah, sorry. Also, I should have brought the notes. I was super <laughs> dead. Like, literally, I had the worst flu sickness that I've had. You've been sick. My demon child turned three. Yeah. We've had a lot going on, people. Don't I'm judge. St- yeah, I'm still coming over it. I don't know if you can tell, but my nose is really stuffy. Not so. too bad, but just, just, a just a hair. Okay. That's okay. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, God. I do like <laughs> <a> coughing. <laughs> yeah, just breathing. Um, so, yeah, that's why we haven't been here. But, but we're back. But we're back. And so, yeah, we can tell what the topic is. I told someone at a, the... Thing we did last night. I was doing Hannah and I like whipped my head. I was like, oh, she's she talking about it. The yes. It's a secret. I know. And you were like, I can tell you, I don't think you saw me, but you're like, oh, it's supposed to be a secret. Yeah, I, I did. Like, oh, I did say that. You're good, girl. <laughs> I was talking to this guy, bragging. I'm like, I have a podcast. I felt so Heard cool. Though. So. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it was funny. He was really impressed with me. So. <laughs> Feeling pretty cool. Yeah. It's like, I'll tell you about um, it. Did I tell you when I went to the, the girls' Walla Walla wine trip, wine trip I told yeah. them about our podcast? Yeah. And they were like, what? That's oh, awesome. And I was no. like, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> but it's fun to tell people about. And yeah. then I actually have to like do it. And I <laughs> feel like, I ugh. still feel super lame though. Yeah. I feel so, super nerdy. It's okay. You feel pretty nerdy. Too. Quick tangent. Yeah. Another nerdy moment. Um, <laughs> Yes. We were talking about stones at work and this girl like just started getting into like stones and gems and crystals. Stuff. Crystals. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word right now. But Sorry. and I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to bring my rock collection from home and I was like, <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, that came out way Ten nerdy. Year old Alex. <laughs> Guys, I'm bringing my rock collection to school. I found this book at the book fair about the rocks and like I collect them all. I found so many. <laughs> yeah, it's just a tangent about being nerdy. But Yeah, well, you can't fight back those kinds of things. Being nerdy is cool. Yeah. Like, it wasn't a, it was just funny because I was like, Wow, that sounded weird. <laughs> yeah. It All right, weird. topic. Okay. Uh, Drum yeah, this is good. We kidding. are talking about dreams. 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 Dreams that we've had, what they mean, what science says, <laughs> and uh, what else? Just general dream discussions. Um, I love having dreams. I go through phases where I have many dreams and then I go for a little bit like not having any dreams and I'm like oh, what's happening and well, then I'll have a really cool dream you do to be clear you always have dreams four, you just don't always remember four them. to six times a night you have dreams mm. you go I just read this right now uh, REM sleep uh, lasts seven to ten minutes in the early hours of sleep and then gets longer throughout the night 30 to uh, 40 minutes mm-hmm. and that's when you're dreaming and you do dream during those times. 
just don't remember them. And then during your waking uh, session of sleep, you will dream again. But you're not in REM sleep. Mm. So those are the dreams you remember. Cool. Yeah. And you can retrain yourself to uh, remember clearer those dreams. So that's kind of how, uh, what are they calling? Lucid Lucid dreaming. dreaming. Yeah. How do you lucid dream? So lucid dreaming when I so I didn't realize this was a thing and when I was like really young I guess I used to like do it I was telling my uncle one day about it and he was like oh my god you can lucid dream and I was like what <laughs> so, and impressed. so it's you lucid dreaming is you know that you're in a dream and you can control it and there's like ways to like learn how to lucid dream like one mm-hmm. of the ways is you have reality so every time you walk through a doorway you knock on it so when you're in the dream if you knock on it's kind of it reminds me of it, the movie inception yeah totally. like you have to find something that's real in your real life and it won't be the same in your dream and that's how you'll know you're dreaming i've read about this it's just <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my plague is coming out of my throat. Hey, Miranda. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I hate that. <laughs> God. Not for any good reason at all. So, um, She... Oh, yeah. So, lucid dreaming. Yeah. So, knocking on shit, like you are saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're just giving yourself, like, a, I don't know, a clarifier, like you are saying. Yeah. yeah. So, when I was young... Yeah. I didn't realize this was lucid dreaming, but I remember I'd fall asleep and I'd be like, okay, here I go, going, going into my dream. And like, I would kind of float out of my body and I'd be, you know, it sounds really creepy, but (laughs) I used to do it all the time when I was younger and not think it was that weird. But now thinking back on it, I'm like, I was a creepy child. And so I'd fall asleep and like, I would kind of float out of my body and I would just kind of like spin in circles above my body and I could see myself sleeping and I'd be like, oh, this is cool. I like floating above my body. What? (laughs) And then I would like, then I'd kind of like control my dream sometimes. Like I remember going when we would drive from Iowa to Washington because my family used to live in Iowa and it's a super long drive. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember it fully because I was like younger, but I remember being like, Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now, and I'm gonna dream about being a princess. And I fall asleep, and then I have this awesome, princess. yeah, I'd have yeah. an awesome princess dream. And then I'd get woken up and be like, oh man. And then like we'd make a pit stop and go to the bathroom, get snacks and stuff. And I'd go back in the car and be like, well, I need to pick up where I left off. And I'd fall back asleep and be like, where my dream was left wow. off. And it didn't seem weird because it was just like this is what you do. Yeah, like, I just go back to my dream to where I was. But now I think back and I'm like, how the hell did I do that? That's awesome. I wonder if it's just because you you didn't know what you were doing. You thought it was normal. Yeah, I think that's definitely it. Like, so, it was just, oh, this is what I do. I bet you can get back into it easily. Yeah. I yeah. need to practice it again. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done it. I've done the floating out of my body thing. I haven't Weird. done it a lot, but I've done it a few times as I've been older. Mm-hmm. And it does. It just feels so relaxing just to float. Like... I but don't it, know if it I wasn't can the do same that. intensity as when I was younger. Yeah. So I don't have the best relationship with dreams. Uh, first of all, I had a terrifying one a couple nights ago. Oh my goodness, she hasn't told me yet, and I've been so excited because I want to hear about oh this dream. Oh god, I have told two people so far: my roommate and this person I'm texting. Person who gave me no help, by the way. If you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening, how dare you? <laughs> um. And also, what else? Okay, so I'll start from the beginning, like, why I don't have a great relationship with dreaming. My uh, ex-boyfriend, who I lived with, uh, <laughs> did had a sleep paralysis. Ooh. And uh, would We're going to have up, an episode on this. Yeah, but he would wake up, and uh, one time in particular, he pretty much grabbed me and nearly threw me off the bed uh, because he was having sleep paralysis. And he... He, like, elbowed me a lot in his sleep. <laughs> so oh, that's terrible. Yeah. But, I mean, sleep paralysis, you don't grab people, really, because you're dead asleep. But what he would describe to me is that, like, he would be asleep, and some terrifying creature would come in through the doorway, mm. 
and float around and threaten us and just be so terrifying. Creepy. Yeah, just be an angry, evil, no wonder you dementing know freaking presence. dreams. To yeah, be like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, go to sleep. I'm gonna sleep for so, years now. I know. No, he. Yeah. So I didn't like that. I didn't like hearing about it. It scared me. Uh, so what else? So, um, tell me about the scary dream. Okay. I guess I will. I'm still not over it. So I just was, I was sleeping. I was dreaming that I was in an office, uh, but I was in my bed in the office. And, uh, I was really conscious of my room also Mm -hmm. being there. And, uh, do you know where my bed is in my room? Have you been to my house? I've never been here. I've been outside of your house, not inside. My bed is here and facing out. So like my head is here. You guys can't see this at all, so I'm just... So your head's, like, near the window. Yeah, so, yes, there's a window. Yeah, and uh, so my head's at the window. And then to uh, the right of me, sleeping, like, well, I'm sleeping, and to the right of my body, uh, past the bed, is my closet door, directly where my head is. So if I turned my head... That's bad feng shui. I'm just kidding. It probably is. (laughs) I can look into my closet. That's good. And it's kind of like a walk-in closet. So... (laughs) Something grabbed my feet and pulled me to the oh, side. Oh no! <laughs> and pulled me into my closet, and I cannot stress how real this felt because I felt the blankets move. Ugh. I felt Ugh. them still be over my feet. They grabbed me over the blankets, and I felt the coldness of the air from underneath where oh, the blankets were touching gosh. me. I've got chills. <laughs> like, it I was can't handle that. So unsettling, dude. Do you remember that freaking movie, The Grudge? Yeah. That's what oh that messed me up. It's so such a stupid movie, but it messed me up like where the cat like goes under the do you remember it at all? Um There's something about I don't even covers. know if I watched it, to be Pro- honest. Don't ever watch it. The ring okay. and grudge. Just throw those movies out the window. Okay. Don't. We're not supposed to watch it, right? No. Okay. No, yeah. it's super scary and horrible. Yeah. And you don't watch them in seventh grade and mess up your whole mindset. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um so in the grudge, they like something the girl's trying to sleep and she's like got the covers and something like she kind of looks down on her feet and like there's something under the covers and i'm like oh hell no oh hell no yeah. and then it like and she go, like lifts up the cur- or the blankets and it's like Meow! and it it's pulls her out under her bed oh it's like a demon cat i, oh, I kind of okay. forgot the premise of the movie but i just remember this part so freaking vividly I, what's crazy about i think i might have slipped into like a lucid dream state that i couldn't control because when I felt the thing grab me in my closet like a half a second before I knew it was going to happen yeah and so I gasped and I felt my lips move which I thought was weird Mm -hmm. and uh, I scared my dog and (laughs) because he was right next to me so you really jumped in real life yeah yeah. And then I was Were you sweaty? I always wake up sweaty when I've no, had bad dreams. No, my heart was pounding, though. Yeah. And uh, it was exactly where I was, sleeping. Mm-hmm. And then I couldn't sleep for, like, two hours. I just looked at my phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what <laughs> yeah. I... Was like, I got up and closed my closet door. Oh, for sure. Like, yeah. I can't... That's, like, the whole reason... So, when I moved into my house, I took up, like, you know, the siding closet doors? Yeah. I hate sliding closet doors. I think they're so stupid. I hate them. Oh, yeah. Those are dumb. Yeah. I took them all off out, out of my house. Mm-hmm. I hate them. And so I just put curtains up, but I didn't have any in my bedroom. And so it was just an open closet. And oh, yeah. Finally got curtains and I sleep so much better in my bedroom now. See, I don't have a problem with this normally. I've never had a problem. Mm-hmm. Like with nightmares or uh, anything. Like, I don't, I don't really believe in ghosts. Really? Like, Whoa. I don't know. Step back. No, okay, another just... discussion. Okay. Different podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh. So, like, I just, you know, I never had a problem with it. And then I had that terrifying dream. So, I'm thinking, like, in my logical mindset, hopefully, that I'm just stressed <laughs> out. Bitch, you haunted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Just kidding. I want to be haunted. This person told me that it was probably extra dimensional beings and... 
that's more likely. <laughs> You're like, thanks. I didn't want to sleep I'm for like, the rest of the I'm month anyway. Like, it's also scary. I still have to move. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, Light the match. Set the house on fire. Yeah, goodbye. Collect but... the insurance money. Yeah. Let's start over. <laughs> I don't need that stress in my life. <laughs> but I had just um, had the interview, uh, the second interview that day. Ooh, so maybe you're stressed out I'm and your stressed. subconscious was like, Phew. here, I'm going to be blown a up. real asshole to you <laughs> yeah. today. Just... Are you stressed? No sleep for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's that's what oh, it was. That's a horrible dream, Krista. I know, it was awful. Have you had any good dreams lately? Oh, thank you for asking. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. So, oh, good. I have, I, I really think 90% of my dreams are good. That's good. That's and a good percentage. I, <laughs> I think, uh, if I have good dreams, they're something totally unrealistic. No, or I have really just weird dreams. Still uh, cool. Yeah. I like, uh, or I dream about people and then they create a feeling in me that I still have for them or something that even though they had no part in it. Yeah. Or I'm like. Oh, I love that. Like you people that I mean? you've never thought of. Like, I remember there was this kid. We went to high school with him, too, but I remember him more from elementary school. His name mm-hmm. was Eric Garza. Okay. I remember I had a dream about him once, and it was just so funny because it's like, I haven't thought about you in forever. You <laughs> yeah. were just in my dream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like I don't know. People from my past will be in my dreams that, like, I'll have no relationship with now, but also they aren't necessarily a negative thing. Yeah. So I'll just be there. Just pop just up. Just chilling. I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever. You'll exist here. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> so... That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. good dream that yeah. you've had lately. Um, Are you... I can't think of a specific one, but I know I've had them. That's good. So, And Scott is always there. That's a good feeling when yeah. your dog's right next to you and you're just like, okay, yeah, we're cool. Yeah. After I got to sleep, uh, I turned toward this closet and Scott was at my face. <laughs> so I was really looking at him yeah. <laughs> the entire time. But... Anyways, uh, so a recent dream I've had, and it was like a couple nights ago also, it was weird because, again, it, I had this guy in my dream who I know in real life but not very well. Like, we just recently were acquaintances, and then I also follow him on Snapchat, so I've been <laughs> watching his Snapchat stories, so it's weird, like, how you kind of get to know somebody. Yeah, yeah. But you don't really know him super well. Yeah. Anyway, so he was... Okay. I fall asleep. Mm-hmm. I wake up in this mansion, and cool. it's not a good feeling, though. This isn't Ooh. a good dream, but it's an interesting dream. Okay. We're in, I'm in this mansion, and I'm kind of being controlled. That's the feeling I'm getting. And I walk down this big staircase, and I don't know anyone except this guy, and his name's Kyle. And I'm like, dude, why are we here? What is this place? And he's like... This is not good. We're being we're being kept here. What? I know. I'm like, oh shoot. Like, oh shoot. We... <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm like, how do we get out? And he's like, I've been creating a plan. I'm so glad you're here because I can talk to somebody finally. And I was like, okay, what do we do? And he's like, okay, we have to sneak out of the mansion because they like keep us on lockdown. Oh. And he's like, but I think we can go through this like corridor through like the cafeteria area during like after lunch and i was like oh my gosh okay this is so stressful because if they catch us i don't i didn't know what they were gonna do but it was gonna be bad Mm -hmm. and so we're like sneaking through this mansion trying to get outside finally get outside we have to steal a golf cart i know i know and it's like we're in this deserty area and so it's like oh my god they're gonna freaking see us because we can't hide behind anything we're just like zooming on this little okay i say zooming but we weren't going very fast because like oh my god go and there's like it's a whole bunch of fences and it felt like everything's like really restricted and he's like okay i made these passes and we have to wear them and just pretend like we work here smart yeah he is really smart i don't actually know him that well again but Mm -hmm. in my dream he was super smart yeah and so then we're like walking past people and i'm so nervous i'm like sweaty i'm like oh my gosh they're gonna know i don't work here and he's just like shut up just blend in so we're blending in, and then he's like, hey, I have to go talk to this person and pretend like I know what I'm doing again. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you are like pushing the freaking limits. We're actually talking to people now? And I'm just like sweating bullets. He's talking to somebody about, I don't know what. And then there was like the head lady at this mansion who was in charge of everyone. 
There was a lot of details that I didn't... I don't know why. Yeah. But I knew of them in the dream. Yeah. And so then she was there and, like, the lady at the head of the mansion. And I was like, oh, my God, she's going to see us. And he's like, oh, she is. And she saw us. And we were running back to the mansion because we thought if we could make it back to the mansion, then... Like, we, we'd be like, what? We've been here the whole time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they caught us, and they're like, bring us back to the mansion. I don't know how it ends. Because okay. I woke up, and I was like in a panic, and I was sweaty. And I was like, <gasps> what are they going to do us? Oh, man. Oh, it was just so suspenseful the whole time. Just like sneaking around. I wonder, first of all, <clears throat> excuse me. Like, he wasn't the smart one in your dream. You were dreaming. You're creating all this mm-hmm. reality. Don't give him any credit. This is... You created all that stuff. No, I know. So... I know I'm super smart. Okay, but... <laughs> good, 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 okay. Because that's where I was going with this. Like... He was just smart because he had, like... He'd been planning this, and then I feel like I just appeared. And he was like... Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Now I have somebody to talk to. But and you... And we can do this. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just kind of went along with this plan and thing. So it was like, yeah, I want to get out of this creepy-ass mansion. Here's my dissection of this dream. Tell me. So, you're in a mansion, you're trapped, you don't know why, you appear, someone's telling you what to do. All of that is you, Mm -hmm. even the person that's telling you what to do, and you're not giving yourself enough... I really like how you're analyzing (laughs) my dream. (laughs) You're not giving yourself enough credit for coming up with good ideas. Because it's totally not what I took from it, but I like it. Yeah, you're not giving yourself enough credit for coming up with these good ideas. I didn't come up with any other ideas, though. I mean, I came up with the dream... Yeah, that's your dream. You're the person in there. But it's like, you, you you wrote it. You wrote the movie. I guess. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You're doing it right now. You're saying you didn't give yourself any credit for making up this dream that happened in your head. But I didn't know it was a dream. Yeah, I know. But it's still there. Your conscious did it. Your brain did it. Okay. All of those parts, they're still you. Okay. Okay. You're just, okay. Good job, Alex. Are you mad? No. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> cool ass dream, Alex. Gosh. <laughs> Wish you could have made it out of the mansion, psycho. No. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, from, like, what I think dreams are is just your brain is stressing out about something and it's trying to, to rewrite it for you in a way that you might understand or for it to understand or just to relive a situation. Like, The best theory I've heard about dreams, and it's because, like, kids have dreams about, like, wolves and bears and scary things that might actually kill them, but they're natural, so maybe it's a part of evolution, like... So it's uh, like your... Your your brain... Caveman brain being like... (gasps) We're practicing. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Get away from them. (laughs) Yeah, you're practicing. You will die. It's uh, testing out its its responses. It's firing neurons, making sure everything is all in working order. So, like, you... Somewhere in you, something's happening. You got to get out of something, and you're playtesting a situation where you need to get out. Okay, that's what I was gonna like. So, did you watch that Black Mirror? Love what? it. Playtest is a great episode. Yeah, that's what it felt <laughs> so, like. Yeah. When you said that, I was like, "Ding!" Like, uh-huh. yes, that's. It yeah. Felt like that episode. Yeah. Kind of. So. Um. One more dream. This okay. happened. A long time ago. But it was like the realest dream I have ever had. And it was so sad that it wasn't real. But okay, so. I had the biggest crush on the neighbor boy growing up. (laughs) (laughs) And I had a dream we went on a date and we kissed at the end. And I was like, I woke up and was like, I can't believe I went on a date with the neighbor boy. And we (laughs) kissed. This is so amazing. And like, I was legit like woken up, like freaking out. Like, yeah. Oh, my night, the night before was so amazing. And then, like, slowly the realization of coming down being like, oh, dang, that that was a dream. Yeah. It was so sad. I have, I've had those, but, like, the opposite where it's, like, heartbreaking. Oh. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so it's not those at all. No, but it felt real. <laughs> yeah, it felt real. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not there anymore. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Dang it. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other I'm cool just, drink. You're just Miranda. I'm gonna cough. All no, 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 I'm not Miranda. <coughs> I'm not Miranda. <coughs> no. Because I'm not obnoxious about it. <laughs> so. 
Love you, Miranda. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs> yeah, you're real great. No. <laughs> um, trying to think of some cool dreams. I love dreams. Like, I love dreams, too. I feel like... Oh, remember that... Oh, oh I, I text Krista a lot when I've had my dreams. And you I'm really like, do. <laughs> yeah, my... Oh, oh, this is what I was going to bring up. My okay. favorite... Some of my favorite dreams are NyQuil dreams. Man, I need to hook me up with some NyQuil. You get sick and you're like, I'm not going to sleep because I'm going to keep coughing. Better take some NyQuil. Like yeah. the total non-hippie side of me. Uh, it works. That's probably why it affects you so much. Because also, when I take liquid medicine, I don't measure it. I just literally drink Same here. I'm bottle. just like, this is probably like a shot. And Two it's like chugging slurps. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Good enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good night, world. I think I got enough. So. <laughs> Good night, world. <laughs> Gonna sleep forever. Fourteen hours. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think which Nyquil dream I should go with first. We'll do okay. the one where I was pretty freaking delirious and I was younger, like middle school, high school maybe, and mm-hmm. took a bunch of Nyquil because I felt like shiz, mm-hmm. and I was super sweaty and I fell asleep in my parents' bed. Didn't go to school, so that was good. Yes. Good day, mm-hmm. and. I'm sleeping like a starfish, sweating, <clears throat> sweating my body off. Yeah. And I had this intense, amazing dream about these toys that were in my bedroom that came to life. Oh my god! <laughs> and I was like, every time I came in the bedroom, they would stop being. But like, you real. knew. <laughs> and I was like, I made this whole story. I thought I made this whole story up. Dude, that's Toy Story. I know. <laughs> And I was so excited, and I was like, I wake oh up, and I'm like sweating, and I'm like, Mom, Mom, I dropped these come here. And I started telling her the premise of sto- Toy Story, and I was like, Mom, I'm going to be famous, because I thought this whole story up. And she's like, Alex, I'm so sorry. This is already a movie. I'm like, what? That you've seen. Yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, that's Toy Story. And I'm like... What? Oh my god. <laughs> it was so funny. That's Toy Story. I completely thought Toy Story up in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it up. I just re-pictured it in my brain and thought I, I think, made it up. I think it's weird that you forgot about Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creep. That. That's NyQuil dreams for you. You're like so... <laughs> You're like so self-centered. You watch a movie and dream about it and think that you made it up. <laughs> I'm so I'm just stupid. Kidding. You're not self-centered at all. Yeah, but... <laughs> just delirious and drugged. Yeah. Oh, Mom, we got the best idea, right? Get your pen and paper. <laughs> I'm gonna make so millions. There's, there's this toy cowboy. And I just, get this. Astronaut. Friend. An astronaut. <laughs> each other but they become best friends <laughs> she's like just stop stop where you're at oh go God. back to school oh jimmy and christmas oh it was so funny it's my favorite okay my other night cool dream recently um so one of our favorite podcasts my favorite murder of them <laughs> <coughs> let me try that again Love them. <laughs> yeah, now that you've got your smoker's cough out of the way. I'm sorry, the plague's in my throat still. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the girls from My Favorite Murder were in my dream. Yes. And I can't remember. I want to look back on the text, but I can't remember how far back they are. Um, Maybe I can search function this. Okay. Oh, yeah, you could just type My Favorite Murder. Maybe. Perhaps. My phone, someone tried to call me and my phone had a seizure. So it's not really having a good time. Do, 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 do. I feel like we should play <laughs> elevator, elevator music right now. Uh, oh, I found it. Really? I'm yep. so excited. Because <clears throat> I feel like it was going to butcher it because I don't really uh, remember it. But I remember being like, I need to text Chris this now. Oh, <gasps> I killed a cougar. Okay. Okay, so you met my favorite murder girls, and then I killed a cougar. That's all that you told me about the That's dream. It? It was way <laughs> yeah. more vivid than that. <laughs> you told me Gosh, about the cougar. Damn it. 
NyQuil dream okay. is... Okay. NyQuil is fun dream fuel. That's what I said. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I'm upset because I can't remember my dream. But oh, apparently... Dang it. I, I do remember dreaming about... I took NyQuil, dreamed about me and Krista hanging out with... Karen and Georgia Kilgariff. Oh, uh, that would be so cool. Karen... No, no, man. If some it's miracle... It's Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hartstark. Sorry. Yeah. Hartstark. Yeah. Um, I like Kilgariff. For some, if there was some... You would. You would be Karen. I'm a Karen. I would be Georgia. Yeah. Maybe. Have Maybe. we talked about this? No. Oh, yeah, but you're I've always Georgia. Pictured, I'd always picture that would be <laughs> yeah. Karen in Georgia. Yep. In that, in that way. And I'm a Karen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. If for some reason you, they ever but... find us and we ever get to meet them, that would be so cool. We should probably go to one of their shows. <gasps> like, we should look that up. Yeah. Because they for sure are coming to Seattle soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> also, oh, my gosh. There's so much happening this spring. What? Um, Sorry. I got really excited because I remember so Like, I need to write all this down. Okay. So, Christina Pazitsky yes. is coming to Portland and Seattle. I want to go to one of her shows. The Book of Mormon is going to oh, be in Portland. Yeah. I want to see that. I want to go to that. Uh-huh. And Eliza Schlesinger is going to be here, too. Okay. And Joe Rogan. But I've already oh, seen okay. him, so I mean... Oh, my God. I have a, a really problem. funny thing to send you about Joe Rogan. Oh, boy. Uh, but anyways. Anyways. So, I had a dream about my favorite murder girls. Me and Krista were hanging out with them. And I killed a cougar. But I don't remember anything else. And it was a NyQuil dream. So I have the best dreams when taking NyQuil. <laughs> I need to try that. Because I don't really have that great of dreams. Like, I know I have them. Mm-hmm. But they're not um, really memorable. Speaking of Joe Rogan and dreams, uh, have you ever taken Alpha Brain? No. So he is a part of this company. Not that I'm trying to, like, support them. Everyone right. knows what he's done. Yeah. He's Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's so. the king of podcasting yeah. and everything. Yeah. But Alpha Brain is supposed to help you function better, and I guess it gives you cool dreams. I've taken it, but I can't say that I've had any cool dreams. But it kind of goes along with this episode. It's His company's on it, right? Yes, That's I couldn't think of it right now. Yeah, I could just think of Alpha Brain. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll try their stuff. I kind of like take that stuff with a grain of salt. Mm-hmm. I know it's not all legit, so but I'm willing to try. Yeah. I take hair, skin, and nail vitamins, so, like, it's kind of the same situation. kind of works. You cut five inches off your hair. Yeah, and it'll grow back. It's... It will grow back. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else do we have about dreams? I just want to talk about cool dreams <clears throat> and lucid dreaming. Just kind of went over that. I really like the movie Inception. I haven't watched it in a while, but I like the idea about it. About it. Do you think dreams uh, contain hidden meaning? Oh, yeah. I think, all of the time? Not all the time, but I think a lot of the time you're, ta- you're taking in things and you don't realize it, and then it can appear... Oh, it's like part of the reason I hate watching scary movies. I love and hate it. Like, I love the suspense of it, but I know like the whole time I'm watching it, I'm like, oh man, I'm going to dream about this. I'm going to be so messed up. I can't not be immersed into movies and stuff, mm-hmm. so that's why I have a hard time watching a lot of scary movies. Mm-hmm. I like a lot of them, but it has to be like for artistic value... Or have you watched Baba Story? No, I should though. I've heard people say it for the artistic value or artistic. Yeah, it's good. I watched it because I heard about it, and I watched it during the day because I can't handle scary movies. Yep. And it's kind of ridiculous, but it's it's kind. Of, it's good. It's I good. like one. I think it should be watched. Like I don't know. I really like Insidious. I can't. That's one the of the first one. That's one of the scariest movies I've ever watched that I still really like. Yeah, I can't think about it or else I probably won't sleep tonight. But I watched this, the part of the second one in the daytime. Yeah. And it was horrible. Uh, Yeah, I can't. I watched the second one, but I still don't think it's as good as the first one. No. There was like this part where I thought it was going to be really scary and it turned out to be really cheesy, which is a good thing because I can sleep at night. Yeah. What else? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Movies and that movie's about dreaming. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um. What? Let's think. Let's look at some other questions. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> that was a real cough. <laughs> so I like this. Do animals dream? 
My, oh, for sure. Oh, they do. my dog totally dreams, and it's adorable. Yeah, I love it. It's adorable sometimes. Other times, like I feel bad when my dog has a bad dream, and she'll like be kicking and whimpering, and I'm like, and I have to like wake her up, and be like, Nala, yeah. no, it's yeah, okay. Yeah, I pet him. It only it doesn't happen very often, at least that I've noticed. And he'll be like twitchy and like making little sounds, and I just hold his paw. Aww. He feels better. I hope so. I like push him. Um, I want to talk about kind of like what I think dreams are. Tell me. So I th- I said this a lot already. I think it's just your brain being stressed. Mm-hmm. But um, like we're pretty complex creatures, you know, mm-hmm. humans. So I don't know. Like our brain has got to try out different parts and different things and. I don't think that they tell the future, or I don't think that they have, like, any, like, psychic value or anything, really. But, like, that super scary dream that I'm still not, uncom- like, comfortable with, I have to remember that it's just a part of my brain that's stressed out. Yeah. So. Now, it's, like, compensating in dreams, like. Yeah. We're gonna take our stress out now. Yeah. And... I don't know. That makes me feel better. Yeah. I feel like I could sleep tonight. That's good. Thinking about it. I hate when I have a bad dream and I wake up and I'm like, well, better turn the light on because I'm not going back to sleep. (laughs) Yeah. Or like playing on your phone like you said earlier. Yeah. Which is bad. It's bad, but at the same time I'm kind of thankful because I just sit there and like stress out more. Right. I need to change my habit about what I do in bed. Yes. No electronics in bed. Really it's not should good. be real. Yeah. It makes you it trains you to be awake in bed. Ooh. You need to be retrained to be asleep in bed. <gasps> oh, that's why I love not having a TV in my bedroom. Oh, best thing ever. No one don't put a TV in your bedroom. I like I do because Wow, I, Christy. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my god. Because like my desk is in there. It's and, hard like, too computer. if you live with people, like because you yeah. want your own space. I get that. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I'll move someday, and I will have a room for sleeping, and that's it. I love not having a TV in my bedroom. It's just my zen place. Yes. My grandparents have a TV in their bedroom. They've always had a TV in their bedroom, and they listen to the TV so freaking loud. Like, when I stay with them, I have to, like, wait till they're asleep and turn down their yeah. TV. I can't turn it off because I'll wake up. It's so horrible. So they're, weird. I know. They've gotten into this horrible pattern. My sister's like that. She'll sleep with things ugh, on. Ugh. I don't get it. Yeah, I remember... I love silence when I sleep. Oh, yeah. I sleep in a... I want to sleep in a cave. Oof. A cold, dark... Okay, we've gone too clammy, far. Clammy, quiet no. place. Oh, Whoa. no, I will sleep in a cave. Like, that sounds awesome. It's so horrible. Like, <laughs> you're good for a minute, and then I was like, whoa, clammy? Yeah, yeah, I like humidity when I'm sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. I need a humidifier for my room. Can but I have too many electronics in there. Mm. Can't get one. It probably wouldn't affect everything, but it's not good for things. Mm-mm. I used to have one. Anyways, uh, we're rambling. Yeah. What else should we talk about? I don't know. We promised this was going to be a long episode. So long. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> Let's Chris, just go back to that suck. list. I liked some of the questions that were on there. Oh shit! Do blind people dream? For sure. Uh, yeah. I think so. I you can't, can't you, tell you for sure, but I mean... I got another one. Do you dream in all your senses? Hmm. I dreamt in my tactical sense, my feeling. I yeah. felt blankets move and shit. Yeah. I've had dreams like that too where I felt things, but that's like... We kind of talked about this earlier, and it's kind of for a different podcast. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and... I have a problem in dreams that I've noticed. If I try to speak, nothing comes out. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. I've had that happen too. Um, what else? Why are dreams so forgettable? It's likely that we forget 95 to 99% of our dreams. You talked about that though, because it's the REM sleep. Yeah, it's the very ordinary reason is that we sleep right through them. And we don't pay attention to remember them. 
Dream, a dream researchers suggest that it's similar to what you are doing something that doesn't take much concentration, like driving. You're not paying attention when you do. You don't remember every single time. I hate when driven. I do. I hate when I do that when I'm driving and I get to work and I'm like, oh my How god, did I get. I here? just went on autopilot. Yeah, I've done it's that. so creepy. It scares me because like I have a manual transmission and I'm That's also super shifting creepy. and stuff. Oh my god. Also about dreaming. <clears throat> Lack of sleep and hallucinating things on the way home from <gasps> Portland. Ooh, Tell this. Boy, it was terrifying. Boy. Like, <laughs> I, I had, like, probably about four hours of sleep. I had been up for nearly 24 hours, and I was driving <clears throat> my best friend and roommate home from Portland who was also what time super was tired and sick. We had gotten in the car at about 2.30. Oh, it just makes me tired thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. And, like, she was sick. She can't drive my car. And yeah, because you have a manual. So hipster. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it gets good gas mileage. That's so, <laughs> um, so, like, I am on a fucking mission. I've had probably two Red Bulls. <laughs> and it just makes me so jittery thinking about it. It's Can't still, but it didn't do anything. When when I'm tired enough, it doesn't matter. And you've what been I in do. Vegas for a yeah. couple of days. Like, yeah, you're just messed up. And, and San Diego. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um, so like I had to drive home, and we had to go to the back way because the back way it's the or it was the Washington side. We couldn't go to the Oregon side because they were blasting rocks. all the fires. No. Yeah, it wasn't the fires this but, time. Okay, it wasn't because the fires, but no. or it was because the fires, but there was no fires. Right, 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 right. There, it was not actively on fire, but we couldn't. They're go cleaning on up that the side. mess. Yeah, because nature decided it wasn't nature. It was some asshole kids, but also some. Thanks a lot, kids. Yeah, some fire was there, and uh, anyways, so I'm driving along uh, this super windy road. It's dark. Uh, barely any cars, maybe like once every 30 minutes, there's a car. And I just see there on the side <laughs> of the road, a tall, slender alien. Messed just up. Just chilling, staring at me. There goes sleep forever. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I saw it and I'm like trying to figure out what's going on and getting a little nervous. And then I realized that it's like a shadow, a post. And like a tree so. all mixed together. I don't think so. I think it was real. Yeah, it very well could have been. <laughs> and so uh, I'm shocked awake by just <laughs> adrenaline. There goes sleep. Yeah. And then I'm driving back and uh, we're, I'm about like an hour and a half away. And I stop because uh, I probably would have crashed and died if Ugh. I hadn't stopped. And I slept for about 10 minutes and Lisa wakes up and she's like, what's going on? I'm like, I'm just sleeping. Uh, I saw an alien. And she's like, oh, fuck no. And this <laughs> is, like goes right back to sleep. <laughs> and, like, Can't handle this. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, so we're going to go now. <laughs> so so I'm going to be back on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she was not okay with me seeing oh, that alien. Oh, man. Um, so, and another time, like when I've been sleep deprived and driving, which is a horrible idea. And I don't make this a practice at all, but I did do it recently, but probably about five years ago, the other time I did it, I saw like herds of cats cross the road. I was not <laughs> expecting that. I, know. I was like cows, cats, <laughs> no, no cats. They were small. I feel like you don't call a herd of cats a herd. Like no. there's definitely like a, We'll have to figure out what that is. Oh, man. You keep telling us. <laughs> Duh. On it. They're just... I, I was on the back way to go to Tri-Cities. Probably for no good reason. And I'm just just too tired to drive. And I'm still driving. And I see little kitties run across the road. And there's many of them. And I don't want to hit them. But I don't swerve. Because I know they're not real. Hold on. Okay, what are they a group of cats called? Um, I would type in what's a group of and what's a group of deer called? What's a group of turkeys? And then cats is the third of one. Of course, people want to know. Oh yeah, or it listens to us. <clears throat> we want to guess. <laughs> Do you want to guess? I want to call it a. Uh... You're not even gonna be close. It's no. so great. Is it really? It's so great. 
Is it like a um, like a basket of cats? Or oh, that's like... cute. I wish it was a basket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, it's a basket it's of a cats. It's a basket of cats. Oh, that swarms my heart. Um, <laughs> that's sweet. A group of cats is referred to as a clouder or a glaring of male cats. Oh, uh, a glaring, yes. <laughs> or a clouder. What's a clouder? Can I see that's how a group. that's spelled? It's like chowder, but with an L. Oh, it is clouder. Oh, look. Look at that clouder over it's there. It's weird. A juvenile cat is referred to a queen. A female cat is referred to as a queen. I didn't know that. Get it, girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the unneutered one, though. So, act sexually active lady cat is a queen. Mm-hmm. Girl, you know it. That's uh, what I'm talking about. And what else is cool about cats? Now we're talking about cats. Now it's turned into an episode <laughs> about cats. <laughs> so... Oh, I'm going to forever remember a clouder of clats. Cats. Clats. Oh, yep. bugger. No, you still are. Uh, what was the other one? A glaring. I like glaring. A glaring of tomcats. Yeah, because that is what they do. Yeah. Assholes. Uh, dreams. Dream, dream, dream. We kind of lost our structure in this episode. We're getting... We're finding we're our podcasting voice, I feel like. Yeah. We're definitely more comfortable doing it, and we want structure, right? Do a little bit of structure, but it's good to have a flow, too. Yes. Like I feel like if I get too structured, I'm too... <gasps> I, I have to say this, this, and this, and this. I set my expectations too oh. high. That's good, because I set mine very low. <laughs> <laughs> That's obvious. Just kidding. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> No. Got nothing to add to that. <laughs> We're opposites, and it works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think um, once a week is a little rough. I think every once in a while we can do it, but let's be realistic. Like once a month. Okay. At least. At least, yes. Let's try like, a little harder. Don't though. don't judge us if it's once a month, but we'll try to do <laughs> once a week. Yes, absolutely. And hopefully I'll be on a normal schedule. Like I She's going to get her kick-ass job. I'm going to be right. doing what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. It'll be easier. Being the boss. And it's the holidays right now, so... I feel like we'll do better, because we'll yeah. have like some downtime. Maybe, I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. going to. Will you? Yeah, we'll do better. We'll have next Monday off. Why? So we could do something. I'm just off. Oh, I was like, I don't have Monday off. No, well, I'm just saying, like, we could do the podcast next Monday if you wanted Monday to. Monday night if my devil child sleeps. Yeah. She's a really good baby. She's really cute. <laughs> Ryan and adorable. is way too smart. She's like Albert Einstein in a three-year-old's head. She has too much attitude. She's emotionally manipulative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... <laughs> As I'm eating a fistful of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. This is what she does to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love her, though. Yeah, she's pretty cool. She says some funny stuff. Oh, ma'am. Let me tell you. <laughs> she's going to be a roast queen. <laughs> oh, yeah, she is. She's she, the best. She like, told sometimes, you. <laughs> sometimes she can be, like, the worst human on the like earth. Like, the rudest things come out the of her mouth. The rudest. But... This was rude, but it was like comedy gold. Hmm. So my parents were over and Ryan goes up to my dad and she's like, you got a big belly. And he's like, wow, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and she kept talking about his big belly. Some time goes by and we're getting ready to leave. And she's like, we're saying, Ryan, get your shoes on. And my dad's like, wow, you got big shoes. She's like, yeah, not as big as your belly. <laughs> Bird! Bird! (laughs) By a three-year-old. And I was like, wow! Throwing shade at three years old. Yeah, it was the greatest thing. Don't come at Ryan. And my, yeah, like, my dad's a big guy. Like, he's tall. He's 6'4". Like, give him a break. Yeah. (laughs) But she was just roasting him left and right. But I felt bad by the same time. How great is that? Reinforce that. Teach her. Yeah. Train her. Train. 
She'll never be hurt. She'll be untouchable. This is such good chocolate. <laughs> it is really good. I'm sorry. You're probably going to hear it in the podcast. Like yeah, crunch, sorry. crunch, crunch. I ate a lot of food at Olive Garden today. Ooh. It was really unnecessary. Olive Garden is like amazing and disgusting all at the same time. I kind of hate it. I hate Olive Garden. I, yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. so easy. I know they microwave that back back oh, in their little absolutely. kitchen. I'm doing air quotes yeah. for those that can't see. You know what? My friend, well, Lisa had tiramisu. And oh, that's the only thing I do love about Olive Garden. Oh, it's good. Tiramisu. It's freaking good. Uh, and the I was kind of like wondering about what it was like out loud. And the waitress goes, oh, it's <gasps> lady fingers soaked in espresso. And then, what is it? Mascarpone. It's pre-made, but cocoa. it's good. Yeah, so Lisa and I were like, oh, oh, and cool. And then Have you guys had it leaves. before? She has, because she loves it. and But I hadn't. And she, the waitress leaves, and Lisa's like, this shit's sent here. <laughs> it's <laughs> sent there. It made me laugh forever, because I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's what bugs me the most, is they try to pretend like it's like so gourmet and stuff, and it's like... I know you're pulling bags out of the freezer and like it's heating it up. <laughs> like I know you've got a microwave or two back there. Oh yeah. Don't pretend. I got a glass of wine and it was like wine that I could buy at Walmart, which doesn't mean it's bad wine. I'm just saying like I know it's accessible. Yeah. And she was like, Oh, that's one of our best ones. And I was like, Bitch, I know. What that's you to step on a step stool at Walmart? <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know. And it's like medium good. It's like not even the best, but I'm going to get it because it's the best here. I just hate it because it's pasta. Like pasta is so oh, yeah. easy to make. Yes. And they're not even like making fresh pasta. They're that just... upsets me. It doesn't because it's a chain. But I mean. Okay. But it's not Don't that act like you're. Shit, that was snow. That's true. I don't know. Okay. You know what though? Like. Weird tangent. Yeah, it is a weird tangent. But that's okay. Like I. I literally have been to Olive Garden probably four times in my life. Like, this is probably the fourth what? time. What? Yeah. Oh. You know what? Prom, everyone wanted to go to Olive Garden and Justin So Cudero, embarrassing. I know. He was like, no, we're going to go to Bella Italiana. And that shit was expensive, but he paid for it. Wow. So. <laughs> okay. Our so. flashback to our prom. That I remember. Was a good time. Did, uh, we, did you come with me? We hung out at prom, but I hated prom. But oh, okay. It's okay. I'm over it now. Okay. Um, I remember what I thought was so cool about prom was you had a short, awesome dress from online, and it was yeah. 2008, and, like, I didn't order a lot of stuff online yeah. back then, and so I was like, whoa, hold the phone. You ordered your dress online? online. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's so cool. I ordered both of my dresses online. Yeah. My mind was blown. I was just like... Mom, I need to order some dresses online. Krista did. <laughs> and you ordered your prom dress, like, which yeah. was like a big deal. It was from the red dress shop with a P at the end. It shop. was from Mod Cloth. The first one was from Mod Cloth. Oh, okay. I was like, no, because I remember then, this. No, yeah, yeah. The first one was from Mod Cloth because I might be mixing up like winter formal and prom. Still, it was the same year. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, that dress was short. And then I had white wedges. You just said white. I know, so because know. I did it on purpose. Okay, good. <laughs> that wasn't making a mistake here. I was like, whoa. They were clean and crisp and white, and they were wedges, which I thought was an invention of shoes that were the easiest thing to walk in. I was mm-hmm. like, why aren't people doing this? Everyone else is in heels. Just get a wedge. It's a heel that's like flat all the way across. So, like, you could actually walk in them. (laughs) Something that I'm still so salty about 10 years later. (laughs) So salty. I didn't know this term 10 years ago, but this is the exact word I am. Yeah. Our graduation, I bought the coolest wedges. Yeah. And... I had wedges on mine, too. They were yellow. Anyways. I lost them at our graduation party. Dude. I don't even remember what I And I remember being like, they have to be at Danae's. And for, like... Two years after graduation, I was like, can I check the closet again for my wedges? <laughs> and she's like, Alex, they're not here. And I'm like, but maybe. And she's like, no, they're still not here. And I was like, where did it go? Where it did can't it just... go? I feel like 
the Danielsons? Is that their name? That's where we went, yeah. I think my shoe's lost there. They probably threw it away, They're but... probably rotting in a field now, because that place is weird. <laughs> I know. But, like... I think my wedge is lost there. <laughs> and it's so upsetting, because I kept it for a long time, thinking, no, I'll find it. I yeah. Order. No. Not anymore. You know, but... I feel really bad, because I lost my dad's denim jacket. Mm. Yeah. That night? No, it was a... Uh... Shoot, what was I doing? I feel like I was on a band trip or something. Ugh. Yeah, I felt really awful. Another thing I'm real... I I hate Afghan blankets because of graduation night. Because I remember being so cold and trying to sleep with an Afghan blanket and it has holes because it's like crocheted or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, I hate this blanket. There's <laughs> holes in it. Didn't we go home? No. Oh, I think we did, but for a long time we were outside and I was like, oh, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Wish this blanket had a full cloth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was a weird night. And I lost a shoe. It's so upsetting. That is really weird. I'm still mad about it. I'll think about it every once in a while. How did we get there? I don't know. I must have drove. <laughs> I'm just like, thinking about it. I never like, drive, so for sure I didn't. The Danisons was so far out. Of it's a royal town. city. For one those... time I got uh, one time I didn't know where they lived and I literally went to Royal City. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like out there. Yeah, it's really it's far. not far away. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah, that wasn't the best time. I mean, it was it was a be- it was a good time. But it's it was weird. It was, it was a weird time. time. It was a weird. For time. those listening, you should Google Maps Othello to Royal City and you'll understand. It's literally right in the middle, but also not even right in the middle. It's like. Right in the middle and to the left, like six miles. Ugh. Maybe. Did you ever go to that old train station thing outside of the Danielsons? That was the turntable? The, tra- the train turntable? Once, but I was like little. Okay. My dad took me out there. Zach took me out there one time. It was weird. I remember me and my mom and dad went. My dad was like, this is so cool. And me and my mom were like, can we go back home? The turntable was cool. Your mom was at like eight years old. I didn't think it was that cool. Okay, I thought it was pretty badass. In high school, I probably would have. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Yeah. What else have we got? Went on some tangents. I wish I could think of more dreams I've had because I've had a bunch of dreams where I'm like, I'm gonna remember this forever. You do have. I text them to Krista a lot. (gasps) In particular, but we're not gonna talk about them yet. When we get to the episode, I'll be like, remember the dream pot or the dream, the dream cast. Yeah. The dream cast where I was like, (laughs) I want to talk about this, but this is for another episode. Yeah. I'll bring it up. And I can't stress enough at how freaking terrifying they are. So it changed my life. It's pretty nuts. So watch out for that one. It's probably going to be like episode 10 in like nine years. (laughs) Just to let you know. If you listen, okay, you probably don't because it's not super popular, but if you listen to the Bro Ohio podcast, yeah, I wrote in and told them about my dream and they talked about it on their podcast. So, so. secret, if anyone finds that Bro Ohio podcast and listens to And Alex's then you story, emailed us and email- that you listened to it yeah. and told me the details, maybe I'll give you a surprise. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll mail you one of our shirts <laughs> that we don't have yet. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise from Alex. What is she going to do? Who knows? I'll mail you some henna. Y- sure. <laughs> mail you henna. Like a mail- henna drum. Mail order, order henna from Alex. <laughs> or something else. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's single. <laughs> this got creepy fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, no. I'll probably you send you some anything. Italian chocolate or just good vibes. Yeah. Um, we'll send you a singles box. <gasps> Single swag for cool. when you love your own damn self. What I am. Can I'm we get just, sponsors yet? <laughs> I'm just so concerned about how far self love has gone that you have to subscribe for it. What the fuck? What happened to just being chill? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Millennials. You get everything online. Everything's fast paced and like, oh, you it didn't know, come in two days. Don't worry uh. about. Don't worry about me taking care of myself. My singles box is coming in the mail. Hey, don't, so, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> just, just don't. Just don't. There's so many things you said. The single swag box to. really made my day. Yeah, I, that's cool. 
That's cool. I don't think... What did I do? I did Ipsy for like once. Yeah. Literally once. Ipsy sucks. Ipsy does suck. Okay, it's fun the first time you get it. But then you get six months of like six bright red lipsticks. Like, wow, how many red lipsticks do I need? Right. You really only need one good one. You need one. Mm-hmm. And then they give you just a bunch of crap. And then you're like, wow, I've got all these samples of crap. Correct. Yeah. And I don't know what they expect you to do. Like, try out the sample and then buy the full size. That's exactly size. what they want you to do. <laughs> well, I'm not yes, going to do that. So and Single not, swag bag on the other hand. They just give you stuff. Um, what was I'm I still, say? I'm still, I still want to do the period box. That would make Good. me really happy. If you could make up a subscription box, what, it, what would it be for? Hmm. There's one for everyone, so I mean, I feel like it's not gonna be original. I really like the moon box. Yeah, that's okay, cool. I like listeners, the moon box. I like the moon box. Here's a little secret. I'm addicted. <laughs> I love subscription boxes. I've had a few of them. <laughs> I am the I'm opposite sucker. <laughs> of addicted. I boycott them. Cause okay, here's my logic. I suck at buying stuff for myself. Cause I'm like, I don't need that. No, I'm not gonna buy that. But when I do a subscription box. And I get to try a little bit of everything that I wouldn't buy for myself, like little stupid things. Like, I don't need this stupid headband that's like adjustable. Like, no, it's just too much. That headband was pretty cool. Oh, it's, I use it every day <laughs> when I wash my face. <laughs> and I just treasure it more because it came in a box. I don't know why. It seems silly, but I, I, use, I use the things more. Or like this chocolate. I would never buy Italian dark chocolate so cotto. No. I wouldn't buy it. That's sorry, true. That was probably way too loud. That's gonna be podcast. really loud. Look at it. Oh, I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> I got passionate, but the chocolate was good. My necklace is adorable. The necklace is cool. I feel real douchey though, saying single swag bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just. I don't like the whole concept. Is like to me, because I don't like to buy shit. Really, mm-hmm. I like to buy things that I will have for the rest of my life. Like, I just bought some boots. They're super cool. I'll never buy boots until I need boots. These are going to last gonna have a while. these boots. Yeah. And they're like, purple. And they're awesome. Oh, they're so great. So, I just think when you subscribe, and this is going to sound really harsh, that you're just subscribing to garbage. Oh, for sure. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't mind because it okay. is. Most of it I just don't keep. I'm going to keep the necklace. I got, mm-hmm. like, some pedicure stuff, which sounds cool. I'm not going to use. Didn't think I was going to eat the chocolate, but I caved tonight. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. I'm really glad. But, like... The I... pedicure stuff, though, I'm going to use for my Christmas work party and put it into okay. my Secret Santa gift. Okay. That's good. Okay. So... I'm efficient. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. That's good. I'm super certain about what I want. Mm-hmm. I was shocked when I got my hair cut. I was like, you can take about five inches off. I'm still in shock. I know. You. And I was like, I don't want my layers really anymore. Like, if you can even... <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> like, edit, edit that out. <laughs> staying in. Who cares? So I was describing to her... <laughs> I don't even know if they'll be able to hear it. <laughs> they were right screaming. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. I'll edit it out. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. Don't. <laughs> I just burped. <laughs> Out of what? It was so funny. Okay. <laughs> One more sip. Random burps and bubbles. I can't. You're a ten year old boy. I know. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm a 10 year old boy stuck in a 27 year old's body. <laughs> Just old kidding. Lady body. <laughs> I, you think poopers so funny. Poop is the funniest. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> it's not. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Calming down. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That was what so he, great. What did he say last night that you were crying, <laughs> laughing about? Buttholes. That's it. <laughs> That's buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the funniest when way. I asked him if JCPenney was the best place to poop. <laughs> okay, the reason that's so funny 
is because I my just... dad's poop about app, and I wanted to, I wanted to bring it up, but I was laughing too hard about because you just said it so oh, nonchalant. Yeah. I didn't so, skip a beat. I was like, for the listeners, <laughs> last night we're just doing some henna, hanging out, and then Krista's talking about this new job opportunity, and then she's like, "Hey, where's the best place to poop at Penny's?" <laughs> And it just threw me off guard. And I was like, what? And he was like, just back. No questions. Like, oh, for sure. And I'm like, do I you start know, dying. He's like, do you know where the freight elevator is? And I'm yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, okay. And then I'm down. peeing my pants. And everyone's like looking at me like I'm the weird one. And I'm like, no, this is great. Like, keep going. Oh, my God. So we also should probably tell them about my dad's poop about app. Yes. So, my dad had this great idea I for now. I still think it's genius. It's kind of great, but Daniel Tosh talks about it in his stand-up, so... But no one's made the app, so... I think there is some apps. So, the app, <clears throat> you <clears throat> have to go to the bathroom, and you are not at home, and you have to drop logs <laughs> now. <laughs> and <laughs> so, you're like... Well, crap. Literally. Well, Where crap. do I go? Oh, well, crap. <laughs> and so you get on this app and you're like, do I go to Walmart? Do I go to Walgreens? Just info for you now. Never go to Walgreens. Also, isn't it the library? Yeah. That's the secret. My dad's <laughs> going to be so upset I talked about this. He's going to be your whole two listeners. are going to know that they can poop at the library now. <laughs> That's the secret <clears throat> best place spot. In nobody town. goes to the library. Who <laughs> reads a bill open and nobody's there. Yeah. And you know who's not using the bathrooms of the library? Nobody but the people who know that nobody goes there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, for this app... <clears throat> you go to a bathroom and you rate it one out of five stars and you leave. It's a Yelp for bathrooms it was, it and it's a... called poop about. It should be a one out of five, like toilet paper rolls or. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's real good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Daniel Tosh in his stand up talks about pooper. It's like the Uber for pooping. Like you got to poop. Somebody picks you up and they take you to a toilet. So yeah, it's that's, a little different. But that's different. It is different. You gotta pay for that. So who wants to help make poop about? Dude, Anyways. we're gonna we're gonna do it. That would be so great. Oh my gosh. We'll we'll hit up some app developers. They always want they're always running out of shit. Email to do, us right? at the yeah. podcast. <laughs> the sense cast. Oh I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyways, so poop about. Mm-hmm. And it just made me laugh because me and my dad always talk about poop about. And then you were like, so where should I poop at Penny's? <laughs> and I was like, this, this is why we need poop about. <laughs> he told me earlier, um, I, I can tell you where the best place to poop is. And I was like, okay, great. And then I thought, you know, it's a great time to ask when Alex is right here next to me. And I'm going to pee my pants because that's <laughs> my, my funniest thing to talk about. <laughs> I love pooping uh, and buttholes and farting and burps. So weird. Bodily yeah. functions. Oh, this is what I was going to tell you the other day, oh. but I didn't know when to bring it up. And I'll sure I'll bring it up on the podcast. Sure. So <laughs> me and my mom and my dad had Indian food. Yum. Yeah. Delicious. Ate a bunch of it and it was super spicy. Yes. And I was like, oh no, mom. Because me and my dad talk poop talk all the time uh-huh and my mom's like oh you guys you guys and i'm just like what it's normal and, <laughs> <laughs> and then i start giggling and i'm like you know this is gonna be bad later and my dad's like mm-hmm. mom's like what and i'm like spicy poops spicy, spicy poops, poops after indian food and she's like oh my god you guys stop and i'm like you know, brown town's going to be real spicy tonight. <laughs> Me and my dad are dying. And mom's just rolling her eyes like, okay, well, now I got to go because you're disgusting. And mm-hmm. the next day, I'm in Walmart with Ryan before the tantrum. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to my dad on the phone. He's almost at my house. He's like, I got to stop at the library. I'm like, uh-oh, spicy poo time. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, my God. I'm in Walmart and I just said spicy poo time twice now out loud and he's like you need to get to your car ASAP he's like yeah don't say that in public no 
<laughs> and I said it real loud. Like, I was in the toy aisle, and I was like, spicy poo time! And somebody looked at me, <laughs> and we're like, excuse me? <laughs> that reminds me of a really, like, funny time that really upset somebody else that happened. When? I was in the break room at my old store, and someone was eating hot Cheetos. Oh. And they were like, I love hot Cheetos, like singing. And I was like, and it's going to burn your butt later. And yeah, yeah, they yeah. were offended. Oh, they were like, my. that's never happened to me. And it's I was so like, great. that fucking happens. It's what hot Cheetos do. Yeah. And like, this is a joke. Your butt hole's going to be burned. Don't get butt hurt about my butt hole <laughs> joke. That's great. It was upsetting for me. My ex-boyfriend's little brother would mm-hmm. eat hot Cheetos. Yeah. And then he'd be on the toilet crying and he'd be like, no, <laughs> no, no. We, we would just laugh outside. <laughs> and it was, it's so mean, but at the same time, it's like, why would you eat a whole bag of hot Cheetos? <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to cut all of this out and call it the mini episode about poop. Poop episode. <laughs> so- do 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 poop 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 do 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 poop and it's also gonna have its own jingle. Oh yeah, I'll put different music. Um, poop 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 poop. poop. <laughs> and it's also uh, Christmas <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> oh my god, what was I talking about? I just created a poop symphony in my head. <laughs> oh my god, I'm twelve. <laughs> You are. You're a child. Oh. Remember when your daughter pooped in the closet? Oh my god. <laughs> How did that not go over well on Imger? <laughs> oh my god, they hated that they picture. They hated it. It made me laugh forever. Okay. <laughs> to like... reference for our listener. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I haven't been on Imgur in a while, or Imager, or whatever I you want to call it. I still cruise it. I don't really post on it anymore. I don't either. I haven't found anything funny in it. Well, they're really or rude. In it. And they're rude. Yeah. They're so, savage. So. so awful. I've only had, like, one good post. Uh, anyways, so I posted, because it made me laugh for days. My daughter... Oh, I can't even remember why. She was she like, was mad at you. She was mad at me and she ran off into her bedroom and was playing. And I was like, okay, cool. She's playing good in her bedroom. Yep. And I'm, I hadn't heard from her in like a few minutes. I'm like, Ryan, what are you doing? And she's like, nothing. I'm like, oh, she's doing something. She's doing something. And she's in her bedroom. I peek in. She's naked. I'm like, well, that's not good. And I walk in. I'm like, what's that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and there was the biggest turd in the closet. And it was tricolored. <laughs> like, she hadn't pooped had in a stripes. couple days. Yeah. No, it wasn't stripes. It was, like, one color, two color, three color. Like, adult-sized turd. And I was like, whoa. And she's like, yeah, I pooped in the closet. <laughs> I was like, okay. Taking a picture of this. <laughs> and I sent it to my dad and we laughed for days. Mm-hmm. And I showed it to people and most people didn't laugh. Just me and my dad and Krista. I was really shocked to see it on my phone. Yeah. Because I just opened it most and there was a are. turd on my phone. I was like, oh my God. Why did you poop in your closet? I, I did not. <laughs> that was my kid. <laughs> Why did you send it to me? <laughs> I sent it to a lot of people and no one really got it. And then I was like, you know what? I bet the internet would love this. And they did. Turns out they don't. Ah! So, how dare they? Oh my god. Stupid. That was the other time she pooped in the backyard. That was really funny. You say time, but it's been multiple. <laughs> While I was there. She's pooped in the front yard. <laughs> One time she was like, Dad, I gotta go potty. And like, so I don't want to like discriminate my child because like little boys can pee yeah. wherever they want. So I'm Girl, like, go pee outside. Girl, you're naked. You're running around in the summertime go pee in the yard and mm-hmm. i hold her so she can pee and then she's like mm. and i'm like wow you're dropping log <laughs> now <laughs> you're dropping log now right. in the front yard like neighbors are outside it's summer like wow can we get some privacy no and she's like mm. she doesn't need it though no she has no shame that's my pooping child on the side of the road mm. just oh pooping. yeah we've done so. that my parents live an hour away from me, and while we were potty training, I was like, okay, let me know when you gotta go potty, and we'll go. 
We gotta go now. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go pee. And I'm like, oh, wow, we're <laughs> dropping log again. Uh, On the wish side I would have. Wish I would have went somewhere else other than the side of the highway. And there's like farmers, and they're like in their combines. Like, wow, really? Like your kids pooping right outside my farm? <laughs> what you? What seen, did you what? do with it? I loved it. I good, wasn't. Good. I wasn't like, oh, good thing I brought my doggy bags. Yeah, like I yeah, didn't pick yeah. up her poo. Yeah. Well, yeah. if someone was there, I would be like. Is it cool? Or I, I was like a cat. I, I like kicked some dirt on it. I, I was would, like, okay, no, we're cool. That's a lie. I would just cover it. <laughs> I would just cover it up. Move on. It's on the side of the road. That's going to be there forever. There's worse things on the side of the road. Yeah. So. That's pretty fucking hilarious. So yeah. this has been the Pooh mini story. Or yeah, mini episode. This is a mini episode about uh, how childish Alex is and her daughter. So... <laughs> Uh, but her daughter has every right to be, so... Me, on the other hand, I'm kind of embarrassed now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. I'll own my poo jokes. I yeah. like them. That's funny. Oh, my gosh. Do we have anything else to add about dreams? Uh, not really. Uh, Usually we do, like, a conclusion. Do yeah. we have a conclusion of what you want kinda. to talk about dreams? We kind of are on the same page. Like, I don't think... You think at least they don't tell the future. I think it's your subconscious. No. Yeah, subconscious. I think it's something. <gasps> oh, something I was gonna bring up. What? Um, I've heard it on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. Hmm. Is like, what if it's like alternate universes, like seeping through? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. what if this is, uh, what's it called? Like the Matrix. I don't have the time or the mental energy to think about shit like that right now. That's but, t- it's another podcast. Oh my god. I Alternate realities. Alternate realities and like the Matrix. Like being in a computer simulation and are we just in some most of the time dream I think, in space? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Most, thing, most of the time I think it's kind of crap. Like, no. But then like weird things will happen. Like I believe in string theory. Oh, excuse me. I what? believe in string theory. What's that? Uh, there's an infinite amount of universes. Oh, for sure. Where every single possibility. Mm-hmm. So what freaks me out is when I think about that, or I'm like, what if this is the universe where that terrifying thing happens? Oh, boy. So I can't think about that very much. Yeah, yeah, I can't either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thinking about, like infinite possibilities makes me feel very small and nervous it makes me feel like not important because it's like well seventh dimension alex didn't go through that like or i'm like yeah exactly or i'm like you know or there's a dimension and 70 second krista is batman or (laughs) yeah what if we're reliving the same thing over and over and Uh, over and over again sorry Uh, (laughs) do you know the myth of prometheus Mm, tell me so he helped create uh humans and uh fire he gave them fire and to as a punishment zeus tied him to the side of a mountain where he infinitely is tormented by a bird that rips out his liver and then um, he relives it every single day. That's terrible. Because he gave us... Fire. Oh, well, he gave us... Also, he gave us foresight. Prometheus means foresight. So he gave us his ability, and now he's tied to a mountain, reliving the same thing over and over again. Because he has foresight. He always knows it's going to happen. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, yeah. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> so thanks, Ooh. Prometheus. So he's a pretty important... like uh, I think he's Greek... Sounds like it. It's yeah. totally a great thing. Yeah. So. Wow. Why was I talking about that? Li- reliving reliving the same things over and over, and over again. again. Yeah. So that's why, like, we don't have to do that. Like, we have foresight. Thanks, man. No. Thanks, Prometheus. Um. What else? Yeah, dreams. I hope that they're not other realities seeping in through to ours, because that means that. In another reality, I was pulled into my closet. 
So that's horrible. <laughs> like, <laughs> but on the plus side, in the reality, I made out with a neighbor boy. Well, that's what? true. <laughs> and you were a princess. And then, like in other realities, like I got to live out all the fantastical things that I dream about. And like maybe there's a reality where we're hoping that this is the reality that we're living. Yeah. So we should feel lucky. Or, kind of a tangent, but, you know, Avatar? Uh, yeah. Like, when they, like, lay down in the thing and they become the thing? Uh-huh. Like, the creature? I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, good. <laughs> what if we're... It's kind of the Matrix again. Mm-hmm. so creepy. Oh. <laughs> 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 no! I can't. It's so funny. Oh, uh, No. Ooh. Regain composure. Okay. okay. I was going to say, gaspingly, that we're somebody's avatar. Seriously. Like, like yeah. what if it's like, you can pay so much money to be avatar. Like, what if this is, like, amazing life? Yeah. And somebody is paying to be us. Or, like, not so much in the future, but, like, a soul maybe, like, living in our body and doing all this stuff and like being we're just here. meat machines yeah we're just meat machines but like we don't know that we're a thing living in our body because that's part of the experience like there's i can't think about it like freaks me the out fourth way too much wall. yeah it's like when you're watching tv and they break the fourth wall yeah and how jarring that is like they the soul that we they can't break the wall because it won't be real anymore I can't think Freak. about this stuff right no. now. What am I doing? There <laughs> so, goes sleep. No. Yeah, right. And now it's cause it's, I'm it's, drinking NyQuil. <laughs> it's 12, 13. Oh, what? We had a whole bottle of wine, a half a bar of delicious, fine Italian chocolate. And like, should we do I'm the Ryan the update? Oh, you want to go see where she's at? Okay. Okay. I think she's in her bed. I think she's sleeping on the floor. So... Make Let's your see. vote now. Yeah. Call and in. I will go check. Go check. She is in her bed. <gasps> Good job. Mm-hmm. You know what that means? What? She thought, I'm tired. I need to go to bed. And went to bed. I need to be... I don't know. Be thankful for that. I'm going to be thankful. Yeah. I'm going to be thankful. Um, What else are you thankful for? <gasps> it's November. Yeah. We're going to talk about thankfulness. Yeah. Um, I am thankful... For my beautiful home. I love my house. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's and it's become everything I've wanted it. I got hardwood floors last year, and I've made it a really girly home. And I've decorated but it with my art. Not, like, overtly gir- girly. No, 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 no. It's not, like... Ugh. It's tastefully girly. It's... Yeah. It's a woman's home. It's feminine. <gasps> oh! Okay. Right. Dream. For, like, the... In the next two months, I want to paint. I'm gonna buy five gallons of white paint. Okay. And I'm gonna paint my garage and the ceiling to make it like a finished garage. And I'm gonna do artwork on the walls. Dude, let's. I'm gonna do make a. Sh- it. I'm gonna make a she shed. A she shed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. And isn't it like the most manly oh, way ever? Yes. <laughs> oh, a she shed. It's a her house. It's a her home. My, oh my her God. home. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna paint my garage so it's finished, and I'm gonna de- fortress. I'm gonna decorate it to the T. Yes, a it's feminine fortress, a lady lounge. A, oh, oh, I like lady oh, lounge. That wins. <laughs> I'm making a lady lounge. <laughs> I might post it on the Instagram. I probably won't. You'll see. (laughs) Watch out for that non-post. Watch out. And it's for sure going to have throw pillows up the yin-yang. Oh, everything. Pillows. It's a lady lounge. Yes. It's a she shed lady lounge. Candles. 
pillows. Oh, it's going to smell like pumpkin spice all year round. <laughs> Other flammable things. No shoes allowed. No shoe. No, no shoes. Socks no. or slippers. Socks or slippers. It will have my washer and dryer oh, because, you know, we'll I'm not it. an engineer. <laughs> You're not. We could probably like, I'm saying we because I'm involved in this too. Oh we, yeah, like we can. We might it. we might start doing the podcast in the she shed. <gasps> oh, that's great! I know. I can get. I can make a hangout mics. Oh, and make a freaking. The audio room. is gonna be insane. It's gonna be so much better. Ooh, we gotta come up with better content though. We're making a she shed. <laughs> so. It's gonna be a lady lounge. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm gonna write all my own lyrics. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. And that's my. We, I, I jumped ahead, sorry. That's a hella goal. I know. But like, I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm like, I really hate how unfinished... I I parked my garage in... Our, are park. you going to park the car in it still, though? Yeah. Oh. I mean, for podcasts, I could park it outside. Let, like, you could align it in such a way that you could put the car in there, but also just move it out mm-hmm. and replace maybe a, a few things. Like, I don't know. I imagine... Like things that fit up against the wall. It's easily. a two. It's a two car garage. So if oh, I get all the stuff out of there, it should be able to fit your car. Yeah, like one spot would be for like hanging out. One spot would be for my car and gar- or my car and washer dryer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's gonna be amazing. That's my goal coming up. That's a good goal. Uh, my goal is keep eating better. I'm doing a pretty good job. Good job. Keep up with the. Two five pattern. I did really good before Vegas. Obviously, I didn't practice that in Vegas. Uh, no, we could. I have fasted once. How was that? Since then, it was fine. So I just need to do it again. But also, like, I need to start walking or like jogging before work. There's a treadmill in my garage. Oh. Yeah. There's no good reason not to. Even though I hate working out, and I have expressed this numerous times fucking hate it it's the worst yeah it really is like i feel good afterwards but getting to that point it's like oh i know that it's worth it which sucks because logically bummer dang it it's i know it's a good idea uh so do that keep hanging out with my dog i take him to the dog park a lot you're good about that yeah yeah and um I don't know. Keep up the podcast. I think that's it. We got good goals, people. Hopefully. Oh, what are we thankful for? Sorry, that's what what I got. You started off with saying your home. I love my home, and I'm going to love my she shed, Lady Lounge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I love my family. (laughs) I've been really close to my family lately, and it makes me really happy. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty close to mine, too. That's good. There's an ongoing text message thread between our whole family and also my brother and my sister. Awesome. We pretty much we send memes to each other, but oh, that's the best. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a all... good relationship yeah, right there. Yeah, we talk to each other too, and I'm thankful for my good friends. I have some pretty fucking good friends. Like, I don't know how I did this, but I attracted some pretty awesome people to be in my life. Well, yeah, uh, I didn't try. You're welcome. Just kidding. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> You're kidding. Thanks for You're being kidding. here. You're kidding. I wow. No, no, I'm, not I'm kidding. Full of myself all the time. <laughs> I'm not um, Thank you for being my friend. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. You're always here whenever I need you. I'm thankful for the podcast. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. We're going to keep on top of this. Uh, So I have plans for this episode. It's probably going to be the most edited episode in that I think I could probably take this material that we got and turn it into like at least two, maybe even three. We for sure got a mini poo episode. <laughs> yeah, we do. So We got a poo break episode. We do. Uh, so watch out for that and then we'll get some better structure. Not too much, just enough. We'll, hi- we'll find like, a happy medium. This is a, I feel like this is our happy medium. Okay. Like I feel like the recommendations was like off structure. Totally off, no But structure. super fun. Yeah. Snakes was my favorite episode, I think. Oh, Snakes was good. I really liked Tarot. But <gasps> oh, we Tarot were, was my second favorite one. We were too structured, but... I was nervous. Yeah. I got nervous. I was First nervous episode, too. I was not nervous at all. Second one, funny. I was hella nervous. Yeah. Second, third. The ones in between, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And then recommendations. Recommendations was good because it was... I got okay again. Yeah. And this we one were, I felt good. We were talking about things we already knew. Yeah. It's when I have to learn about something new that... And I'm I said really yes myself. So I'm like, oh, I read all this, but I probably didn't read any of this. So I'm going to read it all over again. Right. That makes sense. And then I say um a lot. And I'm like... Same. And I'm like, oh, I've said that way too many times. Or I go... Oh, yeah. I love that, though. <laughs> I do that, too. Man. <laughs> it's hard not to. It's a good spot. That means... I like it more than... Um, um, or, like, I'm thinking about something. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay. So well, we got this has been good. Goals. And we're good. Yeah, this has been super good. This is my favorite episode, I think. Super long. But, you know, I'll figure it out. We're Joe Rogan status right now, you guys. Dude, Joe's a master. I can only How do you do three-hour podcasts? He's he's just fucking goes and goes and goes. I can't wait for you to see that meme I sent you. I'm excited. About Joe. You're you sent it to it. me in the middle of this podcast. Because and I was it, like, and That was so it, long ago. It. No, you can't see it yet. Like, it, oh God, it's so good. Okay, so we're going to go. But like, <laughs> this has been real. This has been super good. We'll be back next week, hopefully. Fingers yeah. crossed. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. This has been the Sands Cast. This is the Sands. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye.